Good morning, Trey, as well. US dollar uh, continued that move lower, but it was really sparked by that somewhat dovish uh, FOMC meeting we had on Wednesday. Um, and ahead of today's uh, key NFP print, obviously, uh, dollar index or DXY did hit highs after a hot labor, uh, some hot labor data there in the Thursday session. They did quickly reverse to hit three week lows down around 105.29 and closing this, closing out the session lows and looking to test that uh, major support at 105 by the looks of it. Um, the yen was the clear G10 outperformer. Um, it's helped along by a Reuters report that um, on BOJ data suggesting that the sharp spikes in yen strength were indeed on Monday and Wednesday were indeed um, a bodge intervention. So dollar yen dropped almost, it has dropped almost four and a half percent from the spike high in early uh, on Monday's session to be hovering just above that 153 mark coming into today's APAC session. That'll be one to watch. Um, the Swiss franc was also an outperformer, um, really driven by some hot April CPI data. Um, where the headline figure came in at 1.4% year on year. So it was well above the expected 1.1%. Uh, Dollar Swiss uh, dropped to a low of 19.94 before finding some buyers there at the April support level, just above that April support level around 90.85. So that'll be a key level to watch uh, coming into today's uh, non-fund payroll report.